Hello and welcome. Today's complicated cooling systems no longer just keep the engine cool. They must cool and warm various complicated components under the hood as well as other areas of the vehicle. To do so quickly and efficiently, today's vehicles use modular coolant hoses. They're called that because hoses contain modules that may include a branching T in the hose, quick connect, valve drain, air bleeder, or sensor. All have fluid flowing through them and are critical to the proper operation of the cooling system. They can be significantly more costly than standard molded coolant hoses. So how can you help your customers be prepared? Many years ago, the average vehicle had only four or five hoses including the upper and lower radiator, heater inlet, and return and water pump bypass hose. In some cases, the lower radiator hose had a wire insert to keep it from collapsing at high engine speeds. Vehicles built during the past several decades may have a dozen or more small inside diameter coolant hoses that perform diverse duties like the heating the throttle plate assembly, or warming up thermostatic idle speed controls. Determining a worn out hose just isn't as simple as it used to be. Typical rubber hoses generally wear from the inside out. You used to be able to do a simple squeeze test to check for a failing hose, but now that's a challenging chore, even with the hose removed from the vehicle. Most often, Hoses fail because the coolant carries an electrical charge from component to component. The hose, liquid coolant, and the engine slash radiator fittings form a galvanic cell or battery called electrochemical degradation or ECD. This chemical reaction causes micro cracks in the hose tube allowing the coolant to attack and weaken the hose reinforcement. Failures result from internal striations or cracks in the hose rubber, leading to pinhole leaks or a burst hose. Gates hoses, for example, have been specifically designed to be ECR or electrochemical resistant. Other factors can damage hoses as well. Fluids, including oil and other petroleum-based products, attack the rubber compounds and softens the hose either externally or internally through contaminated coolant. An oil-contaminated hose will feel spongy and bulges or swelling will be present. External oil leakages onto hoses should be corrected immediately and the hose should be replaced. If a petroleum product contaminant is found within the cooling system, such as from a failed head gasket, it too should be repaired and all coolant hoses replaced. Don't forget to check for heat and abrasion as well. Look at where the hoses are routed and protect the hose from heat sources, sharp objects, and even original metal cradles that came with the vehicle from the manufacturer. While standard molded EPDM hoses typically fail around the 95,000 mile mark, modular hoses typically fail much earlier. The plastic utilized in the branching tees, quick connects, and other components are affected by the same conditions as the hose, particularly from heat, and will become brittle over time. For more customer service information, visit gates.com slash us. Coolant hose failures can lead to anything from a driver being stranded on the roadside to a significant and costly engine overhaul. Replacing these complicated components with the best products will keep your customers safe. Do them a favor by explaining why preventative maintenance is in their best interest. Thanks for being with us.